event here, if they're gonna have us just walking out in the middle of just the forest and someone runs up to us like, ha, it's time to fight each other. That's what we need. Huh, didn't know they put the bar for entry so low. Let's go! This is gonna be over so fast. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Don't be nervous, Bonglehead. It's only the qualifiers. These are teeny tiny potatoes. Just think of them as stepping stones. Bongo. I can point to you now. Alright, time to destroy them all. Oh dang, they got some health on them, do they? Alright. Dang, our dendro friend is just a freaking machine gun. Your team is getting wiped. Great job, Bunglehead! And everyone else, too! But how? How can my swift fighting style fail? Everyone, retreat now! Hey, no, you're supposed to give me money. Where are you going? <laughs> I'm supposed to have gotten money for that victory. I don't care if I'm a walking bank, I want that money. Can't believe they broke the rules of being a trainer. You lose a Pokemon battle, you gotta give your money. Or your hat. Or something else. But we don't have to talk about that here. You mean your hat? <laughs> no. I don't think you understand the joke. Actually, I don't understand the hat part. And it's super fun! That beast tamer and her fungi work together pretty well. Almost as well as the two of us! Wait, are you saying you want to try to ha want to have a try at fighting Paimon? Your signature move will be Silver Supernova Slap. Uh, th th that's not what Paimon meant. Paimon just wanted to say that our opponent seems to have developed her own fighting style unique to her and her fungus. Oh, it'd be great if we were more tightly in sync with Bongo. Okay, so basically, th there's this guy who has been shutting down uh, Pokemon threads such as this for a while, and it's amazing. Huh. Okay. Uh. Wait, hold on. Actually, uh, uh, are you alone? I mean, not exactly. Okay. I got a phone. You might not want to have anyone look at that one. Hmm. We'll have a look. But like, yeah, there's this guy who's been shutting down Pokemon threads like this. This is the first one, and then that's the last, the la the latest one that has happened. And it's, uh, uh, it's amazing. <laughs> there's something you want. Okay, there's a very, there's that picture of Dawn. Give me your hat. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Nice. And then the last one really portrays what's happened since then. <laughs> He's got so many. He's got a bunch of the protagonist's hats. <laughs> you know the deal. You know the deal. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Sometimes it does. Man's make me a legend. A very great legend. Give me the hat. <laughs> Give me your hat. We beat Paimon. It's gonna be. Give me your tiara. Cause that's not connected to her head, it does come off. That's why it's so important to develop close connections with your teammates. Nico and Layla! How's it going for you so far? Twirly Whirly and the other shroom buddies were way stronger than I thought. Before I knew it, they'd knock the opposition out. Man, Twirly Whirly is really just floating around over there like, I won. Cause he's gotta be the same as his owner. 
no energy. When I got back to the arena, I saw Miss Yai's opponent running away like they just seen a ghost. Miss Yai said she needed to find you and discuss something, so I came with her. Little Layla here breezed through her first battle. Soka won hers by a hair's breadth, but mine was rather disappointing. My opponent was a frightful bore. Well, it's only just started after all. It'd be a bit of a crazy tournament if everyone in the qualifiers was a prize fighter. But anyway, <laughs> what was it you wanted to discuss with us? You're getting smarter, aren't you, Paimon? I thought you'd need me to remind you, but no, you said it yourself. Our opponents will only get stronger as the tournament proceeds, so we mustn't let our guard down. I mean, that's kind of the point. You know, they get stronger. You know, they, they go out, murder a bunch of wild, uh, wild beasts to get stronger, and then capture them against their will, make them evolve, and then get rid of them when they don't want them anymore. Why don't we keep up the momentum from our respective first round victories? Let's give our fungi some special training to strengthen our bonds with them. Great idea! Stay one step ahead of the game! Oh, great! Rival oh, battles! That's a true <laughs> Literally that's just a fucking battle. rival battles! Let's get to it! Yes, rival battles. I also like how the shroom buddy right there, he, he just flew up towards Yamiko and now he's just staring at her feet. Like, what are you doing, bro? Are you good? You're not one of them, I want them feet! Oh no. Don't do it, Tori Rui. It's not it's not worth it. Alright, so how this usually goes here. You know, you got yourself, you got your buddy, and you got your you got the person who's gonna try to try to train you and will later become probably a battle. We all know how this goes. Pokemon, look at everybody is a battle. Even the that view baby here that was just born. Wonderful. It smells of the rainforest Sorry? here, and we're far enough away that no one will bother us. Bro, I will not I will not be told that a baby would not, I go up to a baby carriage and then that baby doesn't throw a Pokeball at me. Uh I mean the Pokemon games where the uh the mother of a baby carriage will attack you. Nah, it's the baby. Definitely the baby. It's the baby. The baby. You want to know what they threw out? They threw out a. Uh, I don't know. Let's have some fun with our fungi friends, then take a break to sample some of Sumeru's delectable snacks. Yay! Snack time! Snack time! Wait a second. Are we here for training though, or did you put something in the snacks that'll improve our bonds with our fungi? I already evolved all my fungi. They just got a little taller and got patterns on them. Even if I had that kind of power, I wouldn't dream of abusing it. I assure you, the dried fruits and pastries I brought are quite ordinary. Perhaps you thought I'd planned an intensive training session for you? <laughs> that won't be necessary. On the contrary, when you're constantly on edge, you miss quite a lot of important things. Are you, are you trying to tell me not to level grind? Because it's really not necessary? Since the goal here is to bond with our fungi, we should treat them as friends and create happy memories with them. Eating and having fun together are vital components of friendship training. You mean like the moment where my Pokemon can take a massive hit but not die because they don't want me to be sad? Imagine if all the Traveler ever thought about was making you stronger, forcing you to build rock-hard muscles just to watch you send Mitotrills flying. Would you gladly comply? Bro, I love Wuyin's facial expressions. She's so fucking smug right now. Buff mom. <laughs> I already know we got pictures of it. Why are you looking at Paimon like that? Oh, don't you dare try anything like that! Or Paimon will... Paimon will ignore you for three days! No, five days! That would be a blessing. See? You and she have a very strong bond, but that doesn't mean you'd be happy for her to inflict a rigorous physical training regimen on you. Do you really think the fungi would be any more receptive when they've only just met you? Huh. Well, when you put it like that... Miss Yai is right. Also, 
I'm curious to see what would happen if the Wisdom Orb is turned off or malfunctions. I wonder if the fungi will stay tamed or not. You want to turn off the Wisdom Orb? Yeah. It takes time for friends to get to know each other properly and come to trust each other. I can't always rely on this gizmo to communicate with Twirly Whirly. It makes me feel like I'm giving orders. Ah, yes. True love cannot be controlled by external forces. Little Layla's belief is a classic one. But that would mean giving up control over the fungi. Uh, is that really a good idea? Mm, I'm curious about what will happen too. Go ahead and give it a try, little Layla. Don't worry, the little ones and I will be here to keep you safe. We're gonna have to beat the shit out of Twirly Whirly. Okay, is everyone ready? I'm... I'm gonna do it. <laughs> Immediately she gets thrown into the water. Twirly Whirly's moving around on its own again. But it's not attacking people nearby like it did before. Perhaps the Wisdom Orb's technology doesn't allow people to control the fungi at all. Maybe it simply adjusts the fungi's temperaments, calming them down so that they're capable of forming connections with people. Man, it seems just as much like a Pokeball. I don't need a Pokeball for a Pokemon. I can just have him walk around, as long as he's not killing anybody. If this theory is correct, little Layla's wish may yet come true. Once you've gotten to know each other, you'll be able to freely communicate without using the Wisdom Orb. Walk around a park just long enough, maybe you can walk with a Pokemon. Miku's right! Forget fancy schmancy technology! The real breakthrough here is the power of friendship! I'll do my best. I want to learn all about Twirly Whirly's likes and dislikes, then buy lots of snacks from the almighty merchant. Paima wants to get to know the real Bongo Head, too. Let's try deactivating our Wisdom Orb, shall we? Does a little dance. What makes the Wisdom Orb so effective? Is K Kati whatever the fuck his name was, in possession of some sort of technology unknown to other scholars? Traveler, Paimon, Miss Yai, do you and your shrimp buddies want to join us? I think Twirly wants to play in the water over there. You'd better be careful. Don't get too close to Blitzaro when you're knee-deep in the water, or you might find yourself on the receiving end of a very unique lower leg massage. <laughs> oh. Well, uh, Bongo Head is always playing in the water. Right. Paimon almost forgot. Should we let Bongo Head try something different? We could climb a tree together and see the view from the top. You two go ahead. We want Bongo Head to try something different since it's probably used to playing near water. Oh, okay. Meet you back here later then. Hope you have a good time. You know, I'm gonna be irritated if when I try to pull for that for Wewa oh, in the oh, next banner and I don't get her, I'm gonna hurt somebody. Just let us know. will probably understand you. <laughs> Why isn't it responding? Guess Paimon will have to try using delicious treats to win its affection. Help! Help me! Oh, Something's come on. not right! Why are these fungi so aggressive? Did you hear that? It sounds like someone's calling for help! Hurry! Let's go check it out! Man, why there's always gotta be trouble? Trying to load. What are you doing here? Hania? You saved the children? I happened to be nearby. The children were mimicking what they'd seen the contestants doing and ended up getting surrounded by wild fungi. Fortunately, I heard the commotion and got here in time to save them. That's so dangerous! Why are they trying to approach wild fungi without a wisdom orb? Huh. 
Huh. You know, I just realized something funny. Yep. Usually, the rival or like a, gr a part people who are part of your group of friends usually always have a Pokemon that are like opposite of your like Pokemon's uh, element, right? Because like sometimes they'll be have the advantage over you, and sometimes they won't. So, Anaya yeah. here, Anaya here has like she's considered one of the friends, I would suppose. So she's got a pyro fungus here, and you know we have hydro. We got the advantage over her, and then Layla's got like she's got animal fungus. So she would have I think she has advantage over us. I don't know. I'm just trying to make connections. It's hardly their fault. I was almost drawn in by the fungi's cute appearance once too. Luckily, I remembered my family's stern warnings and the suffering that previous generations once endured. So I kept my distance. Kind of reminds me of what would happen if I stepped in front of a shinx because I thought it was adorable and then my ass is blasted. People never used to be <laughs> under the illusion about how dangerous the fungi can be. But this Neelit Polycup is changing people's perceptions and now they're letting their guard down against the fungi. A consequence that Elhingen failed to foresee. The tournament's become too popular for its own good. In trying to solve one problem, it's created another. I'm putting an end to this debacle. First chance I get. The Wisdom Orb is the perfect tool for exterminating fungi on a large scale. And once I win the tournament, oh. they'll be mine to do with as I please. You know, you're trying to fight for a good cause, but you're also kind of doing this the wrong way. What are you talking about, Hania? Exterminating fungi? Not in front of Pyro 1? Don't you care about its feelings? You're taking part in the tournament too, aren't you? You even taught us a few tips and tricks. You're clearly enjoying the event. It's nice to see this event in Genshin, but it's like, the SharePoint never wanted to work when we were doing Cuphead, never wanted to really work when we were doing Jedi Fallen Order, never really wanted to work while we're doing Horizon Zero Dawn. Like, bruh. Anyway, yes, the uh, other share play is up. I'm quite certain Pyro One would back me up if it was oh, capable oh, of realizing well, I'm hitting buttons on my controller. I didn't realize calm. it was fucking disconnected. But regrettably, <laughs> it's just a pawn controlled by a gadget. It will never understand human sentiments. As for why I taught you guys a few things, don't you realize? I saw your potential, and I wanted you to help me reach my goals. Yet here you are now, pleading the fungi's case. You've gotten too deep in this absurd game. Looks like Golden Comet and Silver Companion don't deserve such a stellar reputation after all. Wait! Don't go! We turned off our Wisdom Orb just now, and we were playing with the fungi and everything! Looks like she's made up her mind. Oh my, such a standout personality. And with the perfect dose of obstinacy. I sense dramatic events just waiting to unfold. Miko? Layla? Oh, you heard the cries for help too, huh? We were just talking about her as it happens. Little Layla told me that Hania gave you some guidance when you first entered the tournament. But after you met Layla, she very abruptly left. Looking at it now, she seems to be a classic case of a wrong path character. Blames the many for the mistakes of a few, and seeks to wipe them all out of existence. She takes the wrong path because, in her eyes, it is the most effective and sensible method of achieving her goal. Seems she had some bad experiences with fungi. Fungi can definitely be aggressive and damage their environment, but some research also suggests that they're only acting in accordance with their nature. Just like any other wild animals, the fungi have existed for a long time. No one knows what the ecological implications for the rainforest would be if they all got killed off suddenly. Right! We shouldn't resort to extreme measures! No matter what Hania has been through, we can't let her do this just because she wants to! You intend to stop her achieving victory? I can't say I didn't expect that response from you. But I hear she's one of the favorites to win this tournament. Are you prepared to face such a formidable opponent? We will keep bonding with our fungi. That's what you brought us here for, right? To get acquainted with our fungi friends so we can cooperate better with them? Wait, did you know all this was gonna happen? 
It would be rather boring if I had arranged every last detail in advance. The chance encounter between you and Hania came as quite a pleasant surprise. Today's training ends here. The qualifier should be over now. We should go and find out what to expect in the later stages. Must return to the arena. Oh shit, they just have a they, they have a official arena teleport. Thank god, because I needed a teleport to get over there much closer. Just a quick little survey of the area. There may be characters who show up or don't. There are a lot of people over there. Are they looking for something? I heard that the organizer set up loads of message boards for the audience to leave comments and interact with each other. It sounds like a good way to encourage discussion about the tournament. I wonder if people will talk about me and Trelly Whirly. Oh, if only I could use this experience in one of my papers somehow. Hyman thinks that's a great idea! You always need a ton of information to write a paper, and you can't always get the info you need. But this time, you're the one providing yourself with the information! You can write whatever you want! That's a nice idea, Paimon. But I'm from the Ritawahiz, Darshan. The kind of information I'm gathering now would only be of any use to someone in the Amorita, Darshan. Different disciplines, worlds apart. But maybe one world's trash is another world's treasure. Yeah! You can provide the information to alert to students! Maybe sell it to the highest bidder! Wait, no! Royalties! Trudge royalties! Mora is a secondary consideration, but I could make it a fair trade by getting the Amorita students to read through some advanced papers for me and figure out what Trolly Whirly's kind likes. If I can narrow the search, it'll make my life a whole lot easier. I won't have to buy hundreds of different things and get twirly whirly to try them all. I just realized the ends of her hair are a bit are a bit twirly. Just thinking about it makes me want to pass out. Uh, please don't. Layla, that's an amazing idea! What, passing out? Please, get them to look into what Bongo Head likes too! Uh, I'll do my best. When I get back, I'll write a letter and send it to the Immorta. Sino subordinate? Does that mean he's observing the area? Little one, the pairings for the remaining 32 are out. Huh? We'll be facing Soka next! Oh. I've been looking forward to this a lot. What are you so excited about? Aren't you worried that we'll knock your budding author out of the competition? If that happens, Yai Publishy House's nice little journey in Sumeru will come to a very abrupt end. Oh, please. Do your worst. I never asked Soka to win in the first place. Besides, maybe suffering a humiliating defeat will give her the epiphany she so desperately needs. After all, a life with no obstacles tends to narrow the mind. People end up believing that only they are on the right path. Sometimes, obstacles are more valuable than smooth sailing. Uh, as you wish, Chief Editor. Excellent. Ah, oh, I'm looking forward to the next round. I'll await your good news. Ah, oh, there's the one that I beat. What? What's going on? How could they have all defeated all my fungi in just the blink of an eye? What am I gonna tell the others? Are you alright? Huh? What are you two doing here? Are you here to mock me? Don't celebrate just yet. I'll win it all back next time. 
Mm, next time, Byron thought we only had one shot in the preliminaries. Maybe she meant the next season. Yeah, that's a good thing. No need to take a single loss too hard. Anyway, uh, strange nut girl, Paimon is looking forward to our next fight. <laughs> I'll be the one to comfort you guys next time. And if you guys aren't too mean about it, I might even consider sharing a few candid n okay, <laughs> candid nuts with you to make make you feel better. Or candy nuts, whatever. We need to stop talking about nuts. Anyway, we won. Time to shove it in your face. Yeah, Golden Comet and Silver Companion won. Mm, the fungi react to each other's skills. I may have been careless and forgotten about that. It's dangerous to charge in without a plan. I'll keep that in mind from now on. Whatever the case, my companions and I will make adjustments to our strategy and definitely beat you next time. Hmm? You're speaking as if we're gonna go against each other again. The competition will probably have more than one season. Hmm, that makes sense. Hopefully she'll be as passionate as she is in the next season. Hmm. Okay. Now we wait. Uh... smelling spices. It's kind of strange. That is kind of weird. Progress in probe. Probe, what do you want? So what? Are we probing somebody? You are, I guess. I guess it's gonna be you. Oh shit! Are you ready? No, I, I, Captain. Uh, okay. Oh damn! Did that not even. I mean, I heard you, so there's no need for you to repeat yourself. Wow. And I mean, dropping on the deck and flopping like fish, eh, I don't really see any need for it. Damn. Damn, now the share play goes out. Equi. You talk shit, you get it, and you get it. Alright, the share play is up again. Traveler, Paimon, this day has come earlier than I had expected. My apologies. But my writing career is at stake here, and my reputation in Lady Yai's eyes? I can't allow you to beat me. Time to bring on the competition? Don't get too cocky, Soka. We won't go easy on you. Bongo Head's ready to kick some ass. Alright, go! Attack! Rapid fire dendro gun. Oh, I'll be right back. I just spilled my water on my shirt. Ah, oh, that's no good. I mean, it wasn't much. There wasn't much left in the cup, but. It was a spill. You made a mess, and now you must clean it. Yeah, I'm just gonna dab up what I got. Like it was paper towels and 